At this hour, President Trump is about a half an hour en route into Riyadh and Saudi Arabia. He departed from the U.S. just over an hour ago from Andrews Air Force Base for his first international trip. It's going to be about nine and a half days long at this point. During his visit, the White House will announce and then reannounce certain deals, and they all add up to $110 billion. These deals will be between Saudi Arabia and the U.S., and they include, among other names, Schlumberger, Halliburton, Neighbors, KBR, Baker Hughes. Those are big oil patch names. Everything from uh, Discovery to, of course, uh, you know, bringing out the oil from the ground and, and putting it out there for consumption. Now, we also have the CEOs of J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup, Morgan Stanley, Blackstone, and Dow Chemical joining the presidential delegation and taking part in discussions about how to strengthen economic ties with the Saudi kingdom. Business is back. Our next guest recently returned from Riyadh and served as the top diplomat to Saudi Arabia from 2001 to 2003. We welcome Ambassador Robert Jordan, author of Desert Diplomat. Great to have you, Ambassador. Thank you for being here. Hi, good this to be new with deal, you. It it sure looks like it's it's the start of a new day and and a new way of dealing with a, a partner in the Middle East. I think this is a huge breakthrough. Some of this had uh, had the groundwork done, of course, during the Obama administration, but it's now coming to fruition. And I think this shows that the Saudis uh, very much want to be part of the global world economy. Uh, they want their recognition. Uh, they are now the 19th largest economy in the world. And they have uh, ambitions to uh, be uh, even more significant an economic player in the future. We can tackle two things here. The oil deals with the companies we just mentioned, and then we'll get to the, um, the arms deal that we've just made with the Saudis uh, through President Trump. And, and yes, some, that's why we said re-announcing some. President Obama had put yeah. some of these wheels into motion. But for Donald Trump, this looks like a big win. Talk about our relationship with Saudi Arabia and and. As I understand it, you just came from Riyadh. Are they excited about him coming? Describe what you've seen there. Uh, they're very excited about him coming. Uh, they uh, are uh, particularly happy that he is not Barack Obama. Uh, he has, uh, I think, captured huh. their imagination. Uh, he has uh, uh, made it clear that he does not intend to pursue Obama's policy of, as they see it, uh, cozying up to Iran. Uh, and I think they view uh, President Trump as someone they can do business with. I find that uh, really interesting because they obviously probably looked at what happened in Egypt where President Obama did sort of pet clear the way for the Muslim Brotherhood after Mubarak was ousted, and then they probably are concerned when they see stuff like that. But uh, let's get to exactly. the defense deals that are happening here. Uh, yeah. You can only imagine that this, is, this has Boeing and Lockheed Martin and other names licking their chops, but also I just came from Omaha, Nebraska, the Berkshire Hathaway shareholder meeting where uh, uh, Warren Buffett bought Precision Cast Parts, which is one of the biggest makers of airplane parts and right there on the screen the F-35 piece that white piece that's uh, on the ground just below the picture it allows the F-35 to hover what would you imagine is, is a boon to companies like Precision Cast Parts and a Lockheed Martin with this relationship you have to assume it's really positive one of the things I think we need to look at though is the Saudis are, are really intent on trying to develop their own manufacturing capability and so some of this may actually be a job creation mechanism uh, for Saudi jobs uh, with American technology, American advisors, uh, American uh, supervision uh, to start building some of these uh, military parts on their own. They're the world's third, mm -hmm. third largest consumer of uh, military hardware, and I think they decided they want to start making some of it at home. Okay, and, and we've got about 10 seconds, but are the Saudis and the U.S. on the same page when it comes to battling ISIS? Absolutely on the same page. Uh, the Saudis are very much in the crosshairs of ISIS, just as Americans are, and they're shoulder to shoulder with us fighting uh, that kind of terrorist that, uh, attack. Well, let's, let's hope there's some success on that front. We need that. Good to see right. you, Ambassador. We Thank do. you for joining us. Thanks much. Ambassador Thank Robert Jordan, anytime, former U.S. Ambassador to Saudi Arabia.